Okay, so in this video I'm continuing with everything that has ever been asked about iteration and this time I'm going to be doing using a formula. The previous video was on solving equations. So it says here that the number of animals in a population at the start of the year t is p with this little t in the corner. The number of animals at the start of year 1 is 400. So all this notation means is that p1, the number of animals, the population of year 1, is equal to 400. It's a bit like in the solving equations we had things like x0 and x1. So it says here that the formula is to find the next one you do 1.01 times the previous one and it says work out the number of animals at the start of year 3. So p1 is going to be 400 and if I want to find out what p2 is I will do 1.01 multiplied by the previous one. And if I want to find out what p3 is, well let's just quickly calculate what p2 is. That's 1.01 .01 times 400, that is 404. And if I want to find out p3, I would do 101 multiplied by p2, which is going to be 404. So I'm going to do 1.01 .01 multiplied by 404 and I get 408.04. And it says work out the number of animals at the start of year three. So I would say that this is 408 animals, because obviously we want to round it to the nearest animal that we've got there. So we get 408, and it has got this 408.04, but it does have to be rounded for this one. Okay, it says at time t equals zero hours, a tank is full of water. Water leaks from the tank. At the end of every hour, there is a 2% less water in the tank than at the start of the hour. The volume of water in litres in the tank at time t hours is Vt. Given that V0, in other words, at the start, there was 2,000 of litres, Vt plus 1 equals kVt. So in other words, to find the time one hour later, we need to think, what do we multiply the volume by to get the new volume? Well, this is the most important sentence that we've got in the question. It says, every hour there is 2% less water in the tank. 2% less water in the tank means a decrease of 2%. And a decrease of 2% is corresponding to multiplying by 0 0.98. Okay, That is what this corresponds to. So the value of k in this case is just going to be 0 0.98. In this previous question that we had, the 1.01 .01 meant that it was increasing by 1% every year. It's like a multiplier from percentages. So we've got 0 0.98. It's only a one mark question, so it's the correct answer only. That's what that CAO means. Okay, this one says, the number of rabbits on a farm at the end of month N is PN. The number of rabbits at the end of the next month is given by PN plus 1. So it was N next month plus 1 to it. It's 1.2 pn minus 50. So however many um, rabbits there were, it's being multiplied by 1.2 and then it's subtracting 50. So maybe there's some rabbits that are breeding, which is creating 20% extra rabbits, and maybe 50 of them are somehow dying or being sold or going somewhere else. At the end of March, there are 200 rabbits on the farm. Work out how many rabbits there will be on the farm at the end of June. So if we're gonna say that March is let's say that march is p naught so we could say p1 it says that there is 200 so we're going to find out how many there are in april in may and then how many there are in june so april will be p1 may will be p2 june will be p3 now i can do exactly what i did in the previous part i can store on my calculator i can put 200 as the answer and I can do 1.2 multiplied by the answer minus 50, because what that will do is it will multiply 1.2 by whatever the number is in the calculator, subtract 50. So I'm going to store in my calculator 200, and then I'm going to do 1.2 times by the answer, subtract 50, and that's going to tell me how many there were in April. So in April, it went down to 190. If I press equals again, it's going to substitute 190 into the formula, and it will give me, for some reason it wasn't doing it, it will give me 178 in May. If I press it one more time in June, it will give me 163.6. 163.6, which I will round to 164 rabbits, or they would probably accept 163 as well. Considering your results in part A, suggest what will happen to the number of rabbits on the farm after a long time. The number of rabbits will become zero. The number of rabbits will become zero. 
And the reason that it will become zero is because it's just decreasing, right? Each time it's decreasing by more and more and more. And I can actually show you that. If I just keep pressing equals on my calculator, you will see that after time it actually becomes negative. So there will be no rabbits left on the farm. So 163 or 164, there won't be any rabbits or there will be fewer rabbits or a decrease. Anything like that would be accepted. OK, a hot air balloon is descending. The height of the balloon n minutes after it starts to descend is hn metres. The height of the balloon n plus 1 minutes after it starts to descend, hn plus 1 metres, is given by this formula here. The balloon starts to descend from a height of 1,200 metres at 9.15. So I'm going to say that 9.15 is h naught. That's the time h naught is 1,200. And at 9.16, the height is 1,040. Work out the height at 918. So I need to do H2. This is 915. This is 916. This is 917. And this is 918. So I want to find out what H2, what H3 are equal to. So I'm going to use this information. I'm going to use the fact that H1 is equal to K multiplied by the previous one, which is 8 naught plus 20. And hopefully that will help me find out what k is. And then I can do that same process on the calculator. So h1 is 1040. And that's going to be k multiplied by h0, which is 1200, plus 20. So I'm just going to solve that equation. I'm going to take away the 20, which then gives me 1200k. And then I'm going to do 1020 divided by 1200 to find out what k is equal to. And that tells me that k keep revealing the answers, which I don't mean to do, is 1,020 divided by 1,200, and we get 0 0.85. So k is 0 0.85, which kind of makes sense that it's uh, the balloon is going to be decreasing, it's descending, and multiplying by 0 0.85 will make something become smaller. So on my calculator, I am going to say for the answer, my original number is 1,200, and my formula is going to be k multiplied by the answer plus 20. And we're going to come up with these different values that we've got. So I'm going to store in my calculator 1200. And then I'm going to do k, which is 0 0.85. So let's replace that with 0 0.85. I'm going to do scroll all the way to the bottom 0 0.85 multiplied by the answer plus 20. Great, that gives me the 1040 that I've got next. So I'm now going to say that my next one for H2 is 904. And if I press the equals button again, I get 788.4. So using your calculator wisely here is going to be really important. So I'm going to say at 0918, the balloon is at 788.4 meters. Let's double check we've got it. 788.4, and they would let you round that answer as well if you had to. Let's put the calculator back to the other side. Okay, it says here that at the start of year n, the number of animals in a population is Pn. At the start of the following year, the number of the animals is Pn plus 1. So it's really similar to what we've got to that previous question. So I'm going to say that if the start is 2017, if I call that P0, there were 4,000. And then in 2018, we don't know how many there are, but I'll call it P1. And in 2019, they've told us that there are 3,610, and they want us to find the constant of uh, K that we've got here. OK, let's figure out what P1 is. P1 is going to be, using this formula, it is K multiplied by the previous one, which is K multiplied by 4,000. So it is 4,000 K. Now, I know if I want to find out what P2 is, I would do K and I would multiply it by the previous one, which is P1, which is 4,000 K, which is 4,000 K squared. But now I know something. I know that P2 is 3,610 and P2 is 4,000 K squared. So because these two things are equal to each other, I can say that 3,610 is equal to 4,000 K squared. I'm just going to solve this equation by doing 3610 divided by 4000. And then to find out what k is equal to, I'm going to square root that. So I'm going to do the square root of 3610 
over 4,000, and we'll come up with whatever our answer is for this. So I'm going to do the square root of 3,610 over 4,000, and we get the answer 0.95. Now, there's no point in taking the negative version of this, because otherwise we would be getting populations going positive, negative, positive, negative. So we're going to stick with this one here. Now, if you're not sure about what I did in these calculations, this was me saying that P1 is equal to K multiplied by P0. And this calculation was saying that P2 is equal to K multiplied by P1. So you can see how that P1 got substituted in there. So let's double check. We got it. 0.95. And I believe that is all of the questions that I've done so far on algebra all the way up to November 2021. That was everything on iteration. If you have been finding these useful, it would be so helpful to me to just like the video, share it with a friend, subscribe to the channel, whatever it can be. It's always really helpful just to get other people to see the stuff that I'm creating. Good luck with all your revision, and I hope to see you in another video soon.